All right, hello there, and welcome to, well, welcome back, rather, to Real Politics. It's a game I've already did a playthrough of, and if you remember, I did a playthrough on this campaign, The World is Not Enough, 2020, which is, well, about more or less two and a, two and a half years into the future, that's all. Uh, I played as Spain. And yeah, it went very well. I ended up uh, bringing Spain from, I think, number 14, I think, in the ranking, or 16 or something like that, up to number one through various, various different things, really. Improving the provinces, taking territory, and as well forming space colonies and things like that. I had a real blast playing it and I got the itch again to play more real politics. Very very good simple strat uh, grand strategy game rather to get, to get into. And I'm gonna go ahead and well we're gonna get into the next campaign here which is the dawn of tomorrow. Uh, Pretty cool scenario here. Lots of uh, new countries to play as. Uh, I'm going to probably... Yeah. I'm going to be playing as Intermarium. Now, you're probably going to say, Oh, that's too easy. Look how big it is. It's going to have shit tons of... Uh, <laughs> shit tons of uh, population and shit like that. And yeah, you're right. You're right. I'll give it to you. You're right about that. <laughs> um, but no, I always wanted to play as this faction, this this country here, because it's very interesting. I'll take a few moments to talk about it. Intermarium is not just a made-up country. It's actually a... It was actually a plan devised by a Polish man. I don't know how Intermarium is, is pronounced in, in Polish... Uh, it was obviously, the term for Intermarium was obviously created in Polish, uh, and then somebody translated it into Latin. Uh, Intermarium is basically the Latin translation of what the idea was, and it was basically to reform the old uh, Polish, uh, po Poland-Lithuania uh, Commonwealth which I think was like a dual monarchy. It was a very, very, it was an incredibly powerful force in Europe up until the 1700s, mid 1700s, I think. Could be wrong. Um, very powerful country. And, you know, the guy just, you know, he, he was, it was, I think the idea came about in the early 19th century as kind of like protection from Russia and maybe protection from Germany as well. Um, but yeah, interesting that they implemented it into this game, but uh, yeah. So, you know, there's, there's tons of interesting countries to play as, as well as the place that I live in, Catalonia. <laughs> I was thinking about playing as them. I actually did a campaign as them. Uh, not I didn't get to number one, but I actually made quite a large Mediterranean empire here. All right, now that he passed, we can get on with uh, explaining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, cool, uh, cool, cool campaign here. Um, so yeah, we have a little description here. Uh, this is obviously if you if you look down at the bottom, the suggested countries. What does it say here? The center of Europe with benevolent, with the benevolent Germans on the left, gracious Russians on the right, the international situation of the Poles and other nations of our intermarium has never been easy with such pressure from our loving neighbors. It's time to turn things around. To win, control the provinces of eastern Germany, Kiev, eastern Belarus, and western Russia before the said date. Okay, so it seems that um, 
we have several options to win. Uh, what does it say? Uh, true nuclear bombs brought us destruction during the war, but let's face it, there's only one way of making sure it doesn't happen again, making more bombs and intimidating everyone else, and then not making any themselves. To win, build an arsenal of at least 200 nuclear warheads, and repay our debts between, uh, before this date. Okay. Well, that's not very many years. Um, it seems that you could just choose. You could choose these different things here. I, I I'm just gonna go with the grand campaign. I reckon. East Germany. Jesus, that guy's so loud. East of Germany. What? What are they talking about? Berlin? No idea. But, okay. Yep, we're gonna try to stay on the top here. And uh, we're probably gonna be going to war with quite a bit with Russia. Maybe even Ukraine, but uh, that's obviously in. Uh, it's obviously under Russia's control. We have Western Ukraine, I reckon. No, no, we don't. Actually, Russia has has uh, Western Ukraine. Okay, so let's let's just get into the campaign. It's probably not going to be that long of a video because I talked so much. But. Uh, Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, if you've not seen my previous series, I actually had to turn off the music for the game because the music is copyrighted, okay? And I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> so, okay, so as Inter Mario, we start off with an arms industry, a very impressive one. Um, that's good. I like, I like. Let's work on economic things first and that's usually the best thing to do um, we'll go ahead and uh, research that there why can't we research this don't have enough money okay it's very expensive don't have the action points either uh, so we'll work on that and something in internal politics because that's important we already have a number of things here so intermarium seems to be a very well developed country now as it is so we'll just work on some basic things here to start off we are at the top right now so we'll see if we can hang on to that we start off as number one huh so it seems we have a number of uh, of territories up there in the, in the stars that's nice. Wait, Slovakia is the capital, really. That's interesting. Let me take a look here. Got high unemployment, okay. Um, let me take a look here at the trade map. Okay. So central Poland is our highest money ma our biggest money maker, which makes sense. Poland's very a lot of people knock, you know, a lot of people fuck around, you know, and, and say, oh, you know, Poland, you know, who the fuck gives a fuck about Poland? But you know, it's not exactly a poor man's country. Well, I don't know. We got the free city of Kaliningrad here. We could possibly add into our block. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Maybe Austria as well would be nice to have. So we'll go ahead and start working on forming a block here because we're gonna need allies. Also, it wouldn't be bad to have uh, Serbia. Serbia, see, it seems, has regained Kosovo. Which is good for them. It's so very good for them. We'll go ahead and uh, try to add them. Refused. That's okay. We can ask them again. 
And I'm not going to be too worried about, oh, look, we dropped the number four. Son of a number five. Wow. <laughs> okay, our score is rapidly falling. That's great. See so yeah, how Russia's been broken up here. As you see, I'm, just, I'm curious about Russia's military here. How large it is. Okay. Seems we have a larger military capability than Russia does. Which kind of makes sense. World War III took an even greater toll on Russia than it did the rest of the world. Poverty and unrest is taking people to their limits in this chaos. Violent groups are being born that are starting to attack minorities and everyone else they can find to blame for the war. Massive groups of refugees are leaving Russia and seeking refuge in Scandinavia and the Federation of Intermarium. Right, understandable, I guess. All right, there's our first black member, Austria. It's good to have. In case the, they try to form some kind of super Germany or something, I don't know. Okay, we are now authoritarian. Well then. Here's some tasks. Economic development. Democracy never works. Nah, that's okay. We'll go ahead and resign on that. Increase the population to 17,474. What's our population? Wow, that's going to be cool. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What am I looking at here? Okay, that's not going to be that much of a task here. Mexico and Cuba have been getting quite cozy. That's good for them. All right, our, our, our population is growing. So, that's good. That's It's just a matter of time, then. You know what I mean? Just a matter of time. We're not making that much money right now. Probably because we have a debt to pay off. We have a lot of debt to pay off. Holy shit. I didn't even look. We'll be able to pay it off very shortly. Shouldn't take that long. That's our first... That is going to be our first goal. It's paying that debt. Okay. So in economy, what do we want here? Tax income increase, infrastructure, huh? Let's get some infrastructure. And uh, something in internal politics, maybe? It's healthcare. We're going to eventually want that. Socialist haven, that would be nice. Get a real big population boost. Um, but, you know, we're also going to want some military things. Uh, namely, transporters. Uh, that's not going to be for a while because this shit's really expensive. Uh... Yeah, we just want to work on this this economic stuff first, uh, economic and and uh, political things here. Now, what was our goal here? What was our task? Import infrastructure. Why would why would we want to import things? We could just export things. And that would give us a lot of money. Um, let's just worry about uh, this stuff for now. Okay. And paying out, paying our debt and shit like that. We want to worry about that first. Getting a block. All right.
um, you know, I guess. So what's what's Russia's population? Much lower than ours. Okay, and I guess that's it. that's kind of for the purposes of the of the uh, the fictional things that happened here. That uh, Russia got hit really hard with nukes. Okay. Look at look how much population we have here, man. We're back up number one. That's good. All right, we're actually part of the UN. I, I, the colony has publicly announced that the Republic of Quebec is under their protection. Oh, okay. Um. Self-Determination Act. Increase global unhappiness for provinces with foreign cultures and civilizations. Dirty energy tax. Vaccination. Anti-democratic cooperation. That, that would bring us bonuses. We could propose that, but it costs money, so we're not gonna. We're just not gonna propose anything for now, okay? Gonna pay off some of this debt, little by little. Oh God! I'm already thinking about leaving. That's not good. Why is that? I think somebody used the spy action on us or something like that. Alright, let's not forget to try investments. Investments are good. Investments are very good. Okay, so yeah, our first goal obviously is to pay off the debt and then after we do that if we get some more money here ah shit failed on both that the Olympic Games that's worth putting money into it gives you plenty of score human develop index a temporary increase some GDP it gives you a big tax income bonus a really big tax income bonus so we're gonna go ahead and put money into that even if we go broke even if we go more broke putting money into that you know what I mean because it's worth it you know it's like gambling you know what I mean it's just like gambling the Maghreb Union has entered into a very close collaboration with southern France what well, is a new Islamic alliance may soon be born. The bastards. And put the money in. Yeah, southern France in this fictional uh, game here is uh, Franco-Muslim. How how exciting is that? <laughs> Especially if you live in southern France and you're watching this, you're probably pissed off. Thinking, what the fuck? So yeah, we need to really... I think our first goals... Kind of just like with every country in the game that you play as. Is all financial. Um, sometimes you need military stuff first, sometimes, um, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's good to get that shit out of the way, get all the financial, financial stuff out of the way first, that you can, um, you know, for free, you know what I mean, all the free shit.
that you can get. Um, we don't have much of. We have. We actually have a lot of uh, stuff that's already researched. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do the free shit for now, like we usually do. Because that's good to have too. It gives you extra, extra shit. So uh, mutual co cooperation between our intelligence services. Gain a corn in a neighboring province. Chance to fail, man. That's that's a big bonus. Yeah, that's a big bonus. Which could be worth it. But we're not going to do it for now. Can't believe I I didn't. Even World War III was not able to finally end the conflict in China. The country is still divided, but southern China seems to be looking for an opportunity to finally put it to an end. For now, all we know for sure is that they've begun working very closely with their neighbors in the People's Republic of China. Interesting. Very interesting. Put that money in. Took another fucking loan, but we'll be okay. Okay, I promise. Alright, guys. We'll be okay. I'm gonna try to block uh, Bulgaria, I suppose. Since they're our neighbors and all, you know? Oh shit, we don't have enough, high enough relations. What's all with this? Son of a bitch. That sucks. Put money in one more time. And see who's won. All right, we got the Olympics. Great, nice. Look at look at that. Oh my God, look at that tax boost. See, it's so worth it. It really is. It's worth making that investment. You know, just, just got to get it in there, man. Oh God, that, that didn't sound <laughs> didn't sound right. Um. Yeah, we want to do free stuff first. Anything free that we can do is uh, good. It's more action points. We do want to work on this. It is very worth it, but we'll go ahead and uh, get diplomatic missions for now, so we can save money and pay off our debt. It's been accumulating after all that money being put in there. Increase industry profile. And how exactly do we do that? We have to build industries. We need the money to do that. <laughs> That's the first step. We need money. For further improvement of our country, we need some highly educated groups of specialists to help us introduce economic reforms. Maybe some other time, Austria. Sorry. It's a bad time. It's a bad time. Try to make some investments here. Hopefully they'll pay off. 
I'm banking on it a bit. <laughs> failure come on come on damn it you bastard fuck so yeah I think Russia is gonna be our primary our primary victim here unfortunately Iran and Arabia, and holy shit. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. Maybe Iran will win. I doubt it, though. I, I, I think probably Arabia has, has uh, a lot higher, um, a more advanced military. Scandinavia and the colony are looking to enlarge their sphere of influence over the British Isles. Both countries are working hard on improving their pres uh, presence in the region. Okay. Now the audio is glitched out. And we're hearing that the war sound effects constantly. That's nice. That's nice. There's uh, our divided a new consulate. Nah, we don't need a consulate. Get Ireland? Maybe? No. Try Wales or England. Hey, if we can get them both, the more the merrier, right? Kind of undermined their ideas there. The Philippines, uh, Philippines, yes, the Philippines has signed a cooperation agreement with Indonesia. Wait, what? Oh, against the uh, Oceania Federation. Yeah. As expected. Okay. Diplomatic missions. Let's get this economy modernization to get more tax income. It's it's, it's min it's a minuscule amount to be honest, but uh, you know. Pay off. We could pay all of it off, right? Yep. Cool. We are debt free. People's Republic of China and Mongolia. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think Mongolia is going to be able to pull through. Oh my god, new China. What the fuck? It's like... It's like part of Russia. Part of, uh... That, that was Russia right there. Okay. So what else do we want to do here? We want to keep going with this? Yeah. Go with that. All right, we're back down to our normal, our normal levels of tax income here. Unemployment uh, is on the rise around the world. It's great, just what we needed. Okay. 
So who's in Russia's block here? Out of curiosity here. Oh shit, I forgot to... Ah shit, we don't have enough units. Look at, look at our max capacity. Jesus Christ. It's insane. Do we have any transports? We don't. We do not start off with transports. That is something we are going to have to research. It's not like we really need them right now. Um, I would really like. Would really like to go to war with. Uh, probably take take Ukraine from Russia, East Ukraine. That would be nice. Take one of their provinces, you know. Uh, what's going on here? Can we not vote? Okay. Um. Try to get a core. Please. Let's try to make some investments here. We've not had a successful one yet, <laughs> so, that, <coughs> so that's great. All right, hey, it's money in the bank. It's more money in the bank. Sweet. Okay, so what do we need for advanced industries? I can't remember. Infrastructure three. Okay, that's right around the corner. We can afford to actually do that. Next time we research, research something, it's good. It's good. I'd resign from that. National Improvement Project. Paramilitary groups. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and increase our military here. Should be good for now. Make an investment in whales, maybe. It's more expensive. New West Africa is never satisfied. Now the African giant is looking for some new East African regions to swallow. Really? Look how big South Africa is now. Holy shit, South Africa is huge. Come on, Bulgaria. Uh, we're gonna support the Confederacy because I like the Confederacy. And uh, we have a few more days left on this. I'm going to save the game before because I really want that. Okay, save the game. Intermarium.
Inter Marium. Spice car. Okay, let's load the game here and uh, see if we can get that to work. And if not, I'll just end the video because I'm gonna. I've been recording long enough as it is now. You know what I'm saying? And that'll be fine. That'll be fine. All right, let's see. All right, gain a corner neighboring, uh, neighboring province. All right. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. And the next time when we come back, I'm possibly going to be going to war with East Ukraine, if possible, which means war with Russia. Okay. We're going to have to decrease our relations, which uh, minus 30. That'll be enough, right? Yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, right? I'm just really shit at math. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. So I'll end it here and I'll see you guys next time.